Welcome back, Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar, and let's get Roy into the news, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, there's a lot of news today. I'm excited, anxious, a little disappointed. There's a lot going on. Okay, uh, so 2K19 launched, at least the, the Legends Edition did, so if you got this version of the game, you got the game yesterday. Uh, safe to say, it was a disaster. And it was a disaster last year as well, so I don't know what we expected. And I'm gonna just tell you guys now, the nine hours I had the game early before all you guys hopped on, servers are fantastic, all right? <laughs> but as soon as you guys came on, the servers were just garbage. So the first thing that happened when people hopped on at midnight is they were buying VC, of course, they wanted to upgrade their players. People were buying VC and not getting it, problem number one. The people that bought VC and got it tried to spend some of it and this happened. Roll the clip. I go to something that is free. Y'all see it say zero, it costs nothing. I put it in my cart. Look, why did y'all just take 100K BC from me for something that was free, my guy? I want y'all to retweet this if 2K just took your BC for some reason. Cause I'm pissed. Let's say that you bought your VC and that problem also didn't happen to you. You had other issues to deal with, of course. It was players being corrupted left and right. There is so many people hitting me up, hundreds and hundreds of people hitting me up, saying, Agent, the second I create my player in NBA 2K19, before I even walk out the door, the game crashes. It doesn't even let you through the doors, so you can't even play my career. And they tried deleting save data. Think of every workaround. They've tried it. The only other way to, to play on your account is to use another account. There's something wrong with that specific account. There's actually an update. So this is a day after, and I wanted to wait on the video to make sure everything I said was true. And there's a fix for what I just talked about. Badge Plug put out a tweet from a guy called Dion601, and he said, Said, first add the person who needs help on PSN and Xbox then under the play now menu have them join you as a friend from there they can join in the stage then you can go to the my player appearance and change their face to one of the preset faces once they have that done you can load back into the stage and they need to close the app and reopen my career so basically the way to get around that is to join one of your friends change what you need to change close the app and then try and rejoin again hope that helps Let's say I'm over here and I wanna get 100 yards in that direction. Let's say in between me and the destination is a field. And in that field, there's mines. And you just have to traverse the field and not hit the mines. And anytime you play with your player or you get a haircut, you buy something in the store, whatever, any sort of transaction, you're risking potentially hitting a mine. And all you wanna do is play the game, have fun, and reach your destination. It might've been a weak analogy, but you get the point. I haven't had to deal with any of those problems myself. My player has been fine on both of my accounts, on my Kobe account and my Dot Needs Me account. I haven't had a single issue. So it's everybody else having these issues. I haven't been touched yet. But again, it's a minefield, so you never know when I'm gonna walk over a mine. Hakeem on Twitter sent me this tweet saying, Agent, why I spent $150 on 2K19? When I go to change my hairstyle, it glitches, and I can't even use my player anymore. And why, when I try and reload the app, I get stuck on 100% to get to the neighborhood? Listen to the community, agent, please help, help, please. First of all, I need you guys to know, I am not 2K support or a developer, all right, guys? I cannot do anything about your problems aside from talk to other people about your problems, which is what I'm doing now, to the camera. There's other problems with the game, and I haven't checked this myself, but I've seen a few people that play Prime saying that if you're in the East Coast and your friend is in the West Coast, you guys can't match up, which if you remember, was a problem people had to deal with in 2K18 as well. And it took like a month or so to solve last year. So if they already have the fix, it makes sense to just drop it. Also, on top of that, uh, I was getting Getting delayed earlier today and there's a dude flicking his lag switch so I immediately DM uh, the one and only Baluba Mike Wang and I was like did you know did you know this was still happening <laughs> I'm like yo we got to do something about the lag switching man so yeah safe to say it has not been a flawless launch and keep in mind like this is the early edition of the game right there's plenty of people that are gonna get the Giannis Antetokounmpo cover so in like three days when those guys hop on Yo, it's gonna be a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. If the servers can't fix themselves in three days, I don't even wanna play on that day. I just know it's gonna be some cheese. All right, uh, so that's the 2K stuff out the way. <laughs> so that's not where the problems end, and people are reporting all kinds of stuff, and I can't cover everything, of course, but those are the main problems I heard people talking about. 
I'm just wondering, how is it even possible to have <laughs> negative one VC? How could it even go in the negative? I don't need it does not add up to me logically. But I will say this, uh, when the game launched, like nothing was working and I just went to sleep. I don't even want to bother. But when I woke up, it was like 7 a.m. And some things were, were, not everything, but a lot of the things that weren't working at midnight are working now, so they are working to fix it. For our next story of the day, there was a tweet put out by Mike Wang and it changed the 2K universe. Everything we knew about dribbling, shooting, everything, everything, every attribute changed with this tweet. Someone sent Mike Wang a tweet say, could you go over what you said on stream yesterday about ratings and speed boosting after playing well before you even have takeover? Question mark. Mike Wang responded saying this, ratings fluctuate gradually as you get closer to hot or cold. They don't just suddenly jump when you hit actual takeover or cold icons. So if you're 85 ball control, a couple of good plays might push you to tier three before you officially hit takeover. Now, I happen to have a 6'4 play shooter which starts off at an 86 ball control. And there's like, if you get a turnover on the first play, for example, your guy gets a little cold and it drops to an 85. And that means until you do something that gets your player a little bit hot, you don't, you can't speed boost anymore. So if you thought that you could max out your player at 86 and you were gonna be fine, you are wrong. Because your ratings, not just ball handling, but everything fluctuate throughout the game depending on how well you're playing. So if you're playing bad and then you lose speed boosting because of it, then you're playing even worse and it's like a spiral out of control. So when you're playing games and you're just starting out, you have to make sure those first couple possessions really count. Do you guys remember a few days ago I dropped the video and I was reacting to Brutal Sims video where he was showing an 82 ball control shot creator speed boosting. 82 ball control still cannot speed boost naturally, but if you're hot in the game because you've been playing well, your takeover will get you some attributes to reach 86 so you can speed boost. The only problem is you don't know what your attributes are because it doesn't tell you in game. So the only way you'll know if you've reached tier three is if you try a momentum crossover or something. I think it'd be cool if you can like pin a couple attributes on the side of your screen, like three point shooting, ball handling, speed or stamina, whatever the case. I think that'd help, especially if you can monitor the ratings with uh, takeover. Isn't that a brilliant idea guys? I just thought of that on the spot, did not plan that. All right, anyway. For our next story of the day, NBA 2K Lab has been hard at work. Every time a 2K game drops, they're in the lab trying to figure out all the details. Of course, Mike Wang is just kicking back. He knows all the details, but he won't tell us because he wants us to find out for ourselves. But here we have NBA 2K Lab dropping gems, man. They sent me this tweet, and I'm not gonna lie, for the first day, I didn't see it, but then somebody liked it and it showed up in my timeline again, and I was like, wait, what? This tweet says, if you're wide open, it's possible to green 100% of your shots this year. You might be like, all right, agent, that kind of just makes sense. What is it so exciting about that? What, what does that mean? You might not know why that's important, so let me break it down. In previous years, if you released the ball perfectly in your shot meter, there was a 60% chance you get a green light, which means 40% of the time you get it all white, which means like half of that time you missed a very perfect release. So just if we're keeping up, of course, there's a lot of factors like were you open, were you contested, what's your attribute, right? Is it high, is it low? There's a lot of factors that might increase the green window or decrease it. But if you hit it in that window, you deserve to make your shot. So what NBA 2K Lab is saying is, unlike previous years where even when you released it perfectly, there was a chance you missed, this year, this fly in my face is fucking, it's a fight, bro! Come back one more time! In previous years, you can, okay, it's back, all right. Patience, agent, patience. I know you want to stop this video to murder all of the fruit flies, all right? Relax, they're just here for the bananas. Long story short, if you care about a skills gap, this is fantastic news. Of course, we don't know all the numbers behind what that is, and I'm sure that's what they're trying to get now. The game just came out, so these guys are gonna be day and night working to figure it out. And when they do, I'll hit them up and hopefully we can release a video like that. At the end of the day, it's pretty simple. If you're releasing the ball well, you deserve to be rewarded with more made shots. If you're releasing it poorly, you deserve to be punished with more missed shots, that's what a skills gap is. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, NBA 2K dropped the trailer that I myself do not care about. It was a momentous trailer, and I believe they actually showed us this trailer when we were at the 2K event like a week ago. And even then, Rappaport was like, guys, don't record this with your phones. He was kind of just trolling, so I recorded it with my phone. And then I realized like midway, it was just a lot of slow motion of NBA players doing dunks and stuff. We really didn't get any. It ain't it, yo. It's just, it's just like, I mean, I could put something like that together right now with the game. 
Really you didn't help anybody, I guess. It looks cool, right? Show off the graphics, some new animations maybe. Anyway, the game is out, so the trailer really doesn't matter anymore. Weird, usually like they release momentous trailers like a week or two before the game launch. They released this one the day before the game launch. Anyway, for our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a story. I will end this video off saying this, and you guys will thank me that I got this clip for you because it is quite possibly the most awkward and hilarious thing I've ever seen Ronnie2k do. So Ronnie2k hit me up yesterday. He's like, yo, agent, come through on my live stream. And I was like, all right. He had DeAndre Ayton on the live stream, Des Bryant on the live stream, and some Instagram models on the live stream. All right, do you know where this is going? I, I know where this is going. Okay, I'm just gonna play the clip and prepare for cringe and awkwardness and you're gonna put a smile on your face. Maybe not actually. I, listen, I don't wanna judge your reaction. Just react, okay? Roll the clip. I'm doing it. Hi, I'm Nikki. This By is Lauren. Why can we barely see your, f I mean, actually, you know what <laughs> I'm like. Wait, what do you need, what do you see right now? Oh, look over there. Just our boobs. Yeah. That's fine. Hi. I mean, it's fine, but would people wanna see the pretty faces too. Oh. Yes. Can you see us now or no? Yes, we can see. Uh, we can see. Hold on, we should come a little closer. Oh, that's per that's this. perfect. Yeah, oh, you, lo you lowered it now, but that's fine. That's fine. Oh, is that all right? What? <laughs> Dude, Ronnie is one of a kind, man. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, made my night when I saw it. It was pure humor, hilarity, pure comedy. Guys, fantastic news! I passed my grass examination. <laughs> I'm feeling great, ladies and gentlemen. When I saw him pull out the ruler, bro, I was sweating buckets, but I made it through, ladies and gentlemen. He said it was under 15 centimeters. I was all right. I'm not gonna get charged with having grass too long. I'm not gonna get charged with having grass too long. I'm gonna be all right. So since then, I've been looking for some creative ways to piss off the neighbors. Guys, let me know if you know anybody who works at a marching band, eh? <laughs> I have a pretty clever idea. I don't idea. know how much more of these I'm gonna do, because the game's already out. I mean, what more news is there? Maybe like, maybe once every couple weeks, something like that. Yeah, I might stick one in. We'll see how things go. I'm not gonna force these though. The series did well. It was fun. I didn't honestly expect it to go more than one episode. <laughs> But anyway, we're just gonna leave it where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, if you wanna see more of these, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And uh, I have a playlist with all my drama alerts here, and I have some random video you're definitely gonna like, because you like all my videos. Let's be honest, all right? Click that one too. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.